I believe that if you're a good American, you should want to defend the Constitution of the United States. And I don't think defending the Constitution is only a military thing. I think it's a civilian thing, too. And um, I think defending the Constitution of the United States isn't always a peaceful process. Um, sometimes to defend the Constitution, you have to fight. Um, at the same time, I don't believe that what's going to happen is that people are going to fight the right people. I think what's going to happen is the arrogance of the media and big tech is going to lead to a violent outcome that doesn't involve violence towards the people that deserve it. It doesn't involve violence towards people that have overthrown the government and people that have protected people that overthrew the government and people that have decided that stability is more important than actual democracy. Um, I think what's going to happen is that we're going to have a bunch of people that listen to Lauren Boebert and when, when she says 1776 and they know that they can't say certain things on social media or else they'll get flagged. Um, what they're going to think is I'm going to get my gun and I'm going to go and shoot people and who they're going to shoot are police. And what's going to happen is a bunch of people that are just going to work that are just doing their job are going to get killed. And the people that have actually overthrown our government and over and, and overthrown our democracy are never going to get punished. And so that's my real concern right now. Um, when I see that Parler is banned from every single cell phone company's um, app stores, and there's no way to get that app on your phone, uh, and that app, all it does is allow people to use free speech, which is the First Amendment, um, what I think is, I don't think big tech understands what they're doing. I saw there's about to be a protest at Twitter, and what I thought is people are gonna start killing people, and they're gonna kill the wrong people because there are a lot of people at Twitter, and some of the people at Twitter are some of the most talented people in the United States. Same thing with YouTube. Right now I'm on YouTube, and do you think I think YouTube has um, committed election fraud? Yeah. I am right now putting together letters that I'm about to mail out. And the first thing that these um, people that I'm sending this to, which is I'm sending it to the FBI, the Secret Service, DEA, the ATF, Department of Homeland Security, I, I, I'm making a very long list. First thing they're gonna see is I spent all of my Christmas money and stimulus check on this mail out because the NSA and or the FBI are censoring my view, followers, views, likes, and my ability to contact pe people. Please take time to read this letter. And then you can see that there's this SoundCloud thing which shows censorship. How can I have negative one views? It's impossible. I have to, I have to spend all my cash putting together a paper mail out to get around the government and big tech censoring my ability to contact people. Why? Because I don't live in a democracy. I live, I live in a fascist country and so when I see Fox News saying, we live in 1984, um, I believe them. If there's anyone that believes them, it's me. I, I know that my communications are censored because there's no way that no one would respond to me with, ha with the things that I say online. I'm being blocked from communicating with the outside world by a group of people at Twitter. And there are a bunch of protesters that are about to go to Twitter. You know what I, you know what I think about Twitter? I don't want these people to die. I think Jack should go to jail. He committed election fraud, very clearly. And he can say, no, uh, the FBI made me do it. I think you wanted to, because there's no way that, that you could commit election, that, that you could, you don't have to let the FBI censor that much. It's a choice. And um, all I'm saying is, 
I can't fix my music because I'm not going to be able to buy speakers because my entire stimulus check is going towards stamps. And I live in a country that I don't believe is a democracy anymore because there are people in the government and people in big tech that are keeping and people in the media that are keeping this secret. And what I'm trying to say is you don't understand what you did when you blocked Donald Trump. And you don't understand what you what you do when you prevent free speech. Because what's happening now is no one needs to hear Donald Trump talk anymore. They know what they know exactly who America is. America is a country where Donald Trump's not allowed to talk even even though he just got that many votes. We live in a we live in a place where I'm not allowed to talk even though I'm the person that tells the truth. You tell the truth, everyone hates you. You lie, people like you and I understand that the things I say sound outlandish, but the thing is the things I say are true. And so what I'm trying to say is I think our country is in danger right now of not getting shot by people shot up by people that are reasonable, not getting the government's not going to get fought by people like me. The government's going to get fought by people that are ir that aren't reasonable because I'm just saying like Trump supporters are not reasonable. A lot of the time they're very very extreme. Um but I don't know. I don't know what to do. Because this is my this is what I've resulted to, which is all of my money for now on is going to paper mail outs. I'm gonna have to drive all over the state dropping off my letters at different post offices because I don't want the FBI to be able to force one post office to censor my ability to contact the FBI. It's gonna say, this is going to the FBI and what are they gonna do? Show up to the post office and tell them, yeah, we gotta, we gotta remove these letters from the mail. He can't contact the FBI. No, hopefully they're not gonna be able to do that, but if they're gonna do that, they're gonna have to do it at a lot of different post offices. All I'm saying is I have to, I've resulted to snail mail to get around censorship. And at some point we all have to ask ourselves, why is our country like this? And what I'll tell you is it's because the intelligence community is a bunch of psychopaths and, and the politicians are a bunch of psychopaths and the protesters that want to shoot people are never going to get to the people that should be shot. And, and if they, if they do, then they're probably not going to even figure out which ones are the bad ones because there are a lot of people that are going to get caught, caught in the crossfire. And I don't know how to deal with this because I don't want a bunch of, I don't, I don't want the, some of the smartest people in the United States. Dude, you think I like Twitter? Twitter loves Scala. I love Scala. Do you know how many people write APIs for Scala? Uh, no one. I'm just saying like Scala is my programming language. Twitter and I have that in common. It's like, it's like my, I have a relationship with their programmers. They're very smart people. Um, but it's the same thing with Facebook. They have React JavaScript or native. I, I don't even know what it's called, but they, Facebook has a lot of incredible programmers. I don't want these people to get shot up, but they're so arrogant. They're like, all we have to do is censor this guy and then everything's going to be okay. And it's like, dude, that guy doesn't have to say anything now. You have, you have done that. Like you have made Donald Trump that freaking powerful. And it's not about Donald Trump. It's about the fact that you won't let people speak. And there's nothing you can do like silencing a person that feels like you just rigged an election. Because I know you rigged an election. I'm 100% certain about it. I know it. You censored my ability to make money. You censored my voice. You're not even telling me when you're censoring me. I'm just saying, I know you rigged an election. And I'm talking to big tech and to, to, the, to the government. I know it. And so um, I don't know what to do. But what I do know is that I don't want more cops to die. I don't want more, what's her name, Lauren Boeber. I don't want that. Did anybody else see her get shot? I mean, that was pretty brutal. The, and I'm just saying like two cops died too. I'm, it's brutal on both sides. And I'm not okay with it because the last person that deserved to die was that cop. The other last person that decided was Lauren Boebert, not Lauren Boebert, 
Lauren Boebert's the, the woman that said 1776. And you know what? Lauren Boebert is someone that people will follow. She, she's like me. She's someone that believes that I, that you, that we have a right to have a gun on us so that we can protect our safety because that's what the constitution says. And the person that died, I don't know what her name was. I can't remember. I'm supposed to say her name or she, she probably has a name that's almost, it's pretty similar to Lauren Boebert's, but I don't want people to die. And I don't know how to stop it. Um, because the reality is I'm not the leader of the alt-right and I don't want to be the leader of the alt-right. I want to be the leader of the alt-center. I, I want to be the, the leader of the place where we find common ground, but we still fight. Because the center in the past has always been like, I'm getting along with both people. I'm center. I'm, 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 you can like me. Everyone should like me. And I'm not a everyone should like me person. I'm a, I don't care if you like me. I'm going to fight for what's right. And um, that, that, that's the type of person I am. And so... Um, I don't believe in being a peaceful center. I believe in being a center that defends the Constitution. And um, I'm, I'm worried that defending the Constitution is going to end in a lot of tech people dying that are very arrogant, that think, oh, yeah, all we have to do is shut down Donald Trump and everything will be okay. No, what happens is you shut down Donald Trump and you make him a martyr and you, and you allow that martyr to result, to, to lead to a bunch of people dying. And I don't, I don't want that to happen. So um, that's why I'm up. It's like three o'clock in the morning and I don't want to be on YouTube because I believe YouTube committed election fraud. I know YouTube committed election fraud. I'm 100% certain about it. It's the only platform um, that I can use right now because um, I don't have a cell phone. But I, and I know they committed election fraud, but I still have to use it because I have no other choice because um, that's kind of how tech is right now. Uh, and I feel like a, it's a pretty difficult company to to replace. I mean, streaming video like that is pretty difficult to replace. I'm just saying, like, it's a lot of space for high definition videos. I'm talking about like the server side. I'm talking about the technical side of YouTube. It's not little posts that are text. It's video and audio, and it's high quality video and audio, and it's. Um, all I'm saying is there's a reason that YouTube's the only company that does what it does. Um, but I, what, what I'm, what the real reason I'm talking is because I'm, I'm worried people are going to start shooting the police. And um, I don't think the, the, the Capitol Police are the ones that are responsible. And I don't think that you're ever going to get to the people that are actually responsible because all I'm saying is they're going to have buffers. Like, yeah, who can the protesters get to? They can kill the cops. Who can they not get to? The people that are in a bunker, that are behind locked doors. And so um, I'm just saying um, I don't think people should kill people at the inauguration, and I don't think people should kill people at the protests. And um, I think people are going to start killing people because um, when you censor in the United States of America and you act like this, then... Um, violence is going to happen.